Hi Cancer and welcome to your February 2019 Overly Thematic Reading. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Midheaven, and or Venus. However, if you just happen to click on this video out of curiosity, whatever it is that brought you to the Mother Tressa channel, there is a reason for you being here and so I hope you hear all that you need and definitely do subscribe before you leave. I typically do a nine card spread for those that are new um, when it comes to the overly thematic readings but this month I wanted to um, just allow spirit to lead the way and just let the cards fall as they may. So it may be nine, it may be less than, maybe more than, we just shall see. Um, funny enough, as I was cutting your cards, the chariot card somehow was flipped in the midst of and was facing face up in between the cards. So I pulled it out and I immediately thought of the concept of in the cut. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be in the cut in the month of February, meaning you are in a place that is hard to find. Further confirmation after that, what else jumped out was the Queen of Swords card here, followed by the Six of Swords and the Sun card. So I definitely feel like you guys with this air energy may very literally be in the air and on a plane going somewhere exotic, right? Taking a lot of vacation time in the month of February and you need it. You need time for yourself. You need time to rejuvenate. A lot of you guys I feel have been vitamin D deficient and so this is really going to help you as far as bringing that glow back into your skin, right? You will come back a much better person and in a much better mood should you take a trip in the month of February now what's coming up now is the three of swords so for some of you with this energy right your energy coming into the first week of February straight out you are being torn in two different directions right the mind and the heart are torn the mind and the soul, the personality and the inner wisdom, your higher knowing self are at odds, okay? And so with that being conflicting, it's hard to, uh, I want to say like present here with this Queen of Swords, but it's really hard to be your authentic self because if you are confused about who you are and where you're going or what it is that you want you can't effectively communicate that to other people so there very well may be breaks in communication with others and so you may not be meaning what you say it can be vice versa energy where somebody's doing this with you but there is some confusion around um, friendships or relationships that are already established because we go from the one to the two to the three so there is maturation and the ability to have um, a connection with somebody outside of self but I just feel like there is just a little bit of mishap within a certain relationship it can be with an air sign here with this queen of swords um, Gemini Libra Aquarius we are in Aquarius season and so you have to know what that archetype is all about okay they are the humanitarians of the zodiac they are the people that care about philanthropy you know that really tend to pillars or what are, what are they called i don't know what it's called i can't think of it right now but it's like when you are in an organization and you know that the organization has its mission statement right the sole purpose of why the organization exists and then there are the five i'm going to call them pillars just for the sake of it so it's like brotherhood um physical health um mental health you know education and so it's stuff like that that is what aquarians care about and so i feel like those are going to be heavy themes for you coming up 
in the month of February, but especially when it comes to relationships and friendships, right? That brotherhood, sisterhood pillar. You guys are really going to have to work on that. Being better friends, making sure that you're choosing better friends, people that know how to be a friend to you, you know how to give back to you. Confirmation here with the two of coins that um, knows what it means to reciprocate energy okay like okay if you have an event that is coming up they show up for you they're there for you or if they physically can't be there they'll do something sweet by way of like sending a card and wishing you well on the event that you throw housewarming party if you're into like brunches lunches you are into public speaking and you're doing something like that that is more meaningful again that plays more into philanthropy or just being an all-around humanitarian type of individual so they do things like that they buy into your business so if it's an organization you know they make sure that they can donate what they can and they show up for you that way as a friend okay and then you equally do the same for them so that i feel is what is missing and that is what you're going to be looking for seeking out and manifesting okay better styles of communication as well right boom and you achieve something something even a small step forward towards progress is success okay with this ten of coins there is some sense of that some sense of um an achievement that is made so either people that you already have in your life decide to again do better and to be better and they are actually making efforts tangible efforts things that you can visually see because the coins is all about the senses okay so this is outside of just speaking with the mouth it's something that you can see it's something that you hear okay they they call you more they facetime you more i forget what the other three senses are i can never think of all five it's vision sight taste audio and touch ha so physically again showing up for you they're 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 playing more into that or you are playing more into that and you're seeing success by the end of the month this can be um financial gain too right you you take a gamble on something you invest in something on a monetary on a monetary front because the two of coins can also just be playing with the resources that you have and um taking um i don't want to say a questionable risk but again it's a gamble it's on something that it's like a 50 50 chance like you can lose money or you can make money but you won't necessarily go back and be short of money because you're only playing with a certain amount if that makes any sort of sense like if you play the lotto you're not going to take your whole savings account to play the lottery with okay you'll put ten dollars into a scratch off ticket you might win fifty dollars or you'll just lose the ten dollars but you're not out of ten thousand dollars or whatever's in your savings account you know what I mean so that can very well happen for you it can be your own personal mindset the way that you regard your material possessions and the importance that you play on them okay understanding more what your essentials are and being better with how you use your money can show a greater return on money you see more piling up in your savings you know so it can be something like that this can also be uh, just positive reinforcement and or acknowledgement and or promotion on the career front you're seeing um really the fruits of your labor in the ten of coins okay reputation's good any long-term goals that you have been setting are looking very promising in the month of february you know what i'm saying um when it comes to matters of being in the public eye for those that have already been in that type of career or in that type of position for a while you're starting to see fame and fortune from it right getting that acknowledgement from it so anything that the 10 
the 10. The 10th house encompasses is what you will be seeing uh, visually in the month of February, okay? Let's see if there are any other, yes, okay. Ooh, we'll take these last two. Bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Wands. But what came out, come on, you know, the Magician. The Magician card and the Six of Coins. And I don't think I've ever seen the Six of Coins in this deck since I've been using it. Something's blossoming. There is a full bloom here, okay? Also, um, with the body, with exercising, with trying new foods, trying new recipes, you're seeing successes in that. You're seeing improvement in your health and diet because of that. So with this energy, you're really going to be using what you have to get more of what you want in this life. All right, with that eclipse that we just had with the full moon in Leo, that blood moon that we just experienced yesterday, some of that energy is definitely still lingering, but it will, I'm sure, carry on for many signs throughout the month of February. You guys specifically, you're seeing the upside of this and what this means for you guys. Breaking away from the old to get the new, to get the better, to see the light, right? You're, you're going towards the light that's at the end of this tunnel that you've been really rowing through. Okay, and the Six of Swords. Um, you guys are really breaking away and breaking free from things that just are just old and outdated and are stale okay things things get stale and you can't turn back although in your mind you might feel a little weird with having to walk away from people that you have maybe had an established relationship with right maybe built a repertoire here with with this queen of swords because it can be a professional type of card but you have to understand what you're doing it for, how you see yourself in maintaining that vision. With that full moon, it's bringing in luck. It's bringing in romance if that's what you want. But it is bringing in uh, an increased surge of creativity. So if nothing else, this is really, um, I want to say running the mill. So I don't know if that really makes sense, but it's getting the wheels turning in the mind as far as the creativity and you guys maybe wanting to uh, be better at creatively expressing yourself through different art forms, right? Different mediums, trying new things in that regard, or coming up with creative ideas that can uh, bring you prosperity, you know? It's really just all for the taking. You definitely see that. Some of you guys have already been working on that and it's starting to bud. You know, you're starting to really see things growing or you're able to make the prototype of the thing that you want to create, that you want the world to experience with you, okay, and buy from you. So it's all here. It is all here for the taking. Take advantage of this energy with this Queen of Wands energy. If you want romance, again, that's on the table that can come through um, going on dates here with this coin energy and um, being a little bit more adventurous and or creative or, again, taking trips, going on more trips. And you might meet this person if you aren't already involved with this person here. So if it's not an air sign, it can be a fire sign that's coming in or a water sign because the high priestess is underneath that card. Also just honoring your intuition and following your gut instinct and knowing that you are never wrong in what you're doing and what you decide to um, continue to work with and what you decide to just leave in the past, leave behind you. Okay, you've already known, you've been known for a while, and so it's just taking action on those things that you have known to be true. Okay, so that's what's coming through for you guys as far as your chakras are concerned. Your sacral and solar plexus heavy, and um, I'm seeing some blue, so just work on the throat chakra as well as the green, the heart chakra. Okay, but honor your own intuition, heed that this month, so make sure that you are also in tune with your third eye okay if this reading did resonate for you do give me a thumbs up share this with your friends and family and do subscribe for more as well as book a private reading with me if you would like to know more about these energies and what you can do okay ciao